Hidden graffiti signs mark secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. Alan Wake. Had to be at the scene to see and understand it.
I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. I had seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me. Cauldron Lake. Mount Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me.
Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Station had changed. I was closer now. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. loses meaning here. How long have I been trying to escape? Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. The murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. 
Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Alice's photo equipment, set to go off when the door opens. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside.
part one. What was Alice working on? thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. Sure, he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. And it got violent. was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice, Scratch was terrorizing her. Why?
I couldn't get in. I was missing something. room and wrote a story initiation to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out the story had brought me here brought me nowhere loop me back I was writing the story and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room but there was no one here writing
Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the Dark Place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It... This will be back in 2010. Yes. Last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I, why are we written into the story? I think I saw you, or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? 
The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Huh. 
Okay. Nope. Okay, Mr. Wig, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Standing inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel.
right. welcome. Past favorite Deer Fest quotes. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those baby dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. are family friendly and available to children of all ages just like our coffee so take a sip of our oh dear diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin hold on for dear life on the espresso express oh soak in some local history at the Huatari well where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously, it's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow roadster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Well, 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 why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. I can't force it open.
not opening. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. You're a civilian, and we don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. The Taken was momentarily out of action, but not for long. Saga raised the sawn-off shotgun to stop it, once and for all. this year. A hundred bucks says there will be at least one vendor vendor between the blows. I swear I brought my full kid along. Jules, you didn't forget to pack